For this programming assignment, I'd like to build a four-key piano using Assembler. To start with, I'll go on Bison Academy and pick out the first program, Piano Zero, that plays a single note continuously. Here's what the program looks like. It first initializes the port to output, toggles port C, and then waits. That'll be play a fixed note at 1900 microseconds, basically note C4. This is actually the program Blink Zero, same one we did before. It just counts on port C as fast as you can. It waits 1900 microseconds, increments on port C, using a wait loop that waits 10 times 100 times 19, 19,000 clocks, or 1.9 milliseconds. The resulting code is a rather annoying piano that plays a note continuously. That should be note C4. Next I'd like to turn off that piano because this is annoying me. I'd like to set it up so it plays the note only when I press the button. To do that, that's note code piano1. Here I just do a te bit test. I'm going to bit test, skip the uh, clear. If port B pin 0 is not pressed, meaning 0, I'm going to skip. I'm not going to toggle port C. If it's not toggling, it's not going to play sound. The changes in the code, I now change it so that port B is now input. And I'm going to change it so that I'm going to test port B pin 0. If it's clear, I'm going to skip. I won't increment port C. Adding that modification. and downloading your code. And here this is still blink zero, I'm just modifying existing coding. Results in the following. Notice when I hit RB0, port C is counting, and it plays the note. So you've got a one note piano, probably not a great seller. But at least you're getting something to be controlled with the pick. Next, we'll add the code piano2.asm. Here's kind of the same thing. I'm going to see play, play four different notes based upon the button being pushed. The way it works is I'm going to check is anybody pushed on port B. One way to do that is move port B back to itself. That seems kind of silly, but what that does is it uh, affects the status register. I'll then say it was the zero bit set on status. If it was set, then nobody was being pushed. Um, if it's not set, somebody was pushed and it'll toggle. Basically count on port C. And then I'll check which button was being pushed. Based upon the button pushed, I'm going to wait four different times. Those four different wait loops are determined by determine the period or the frequency. So copying Piano2 over to my assembly directory and including it in the source file. When I compile it, I now have a new program. Download the new improved code to your pick board. This is Piano2.hex. Notice the program's getting longer. I now have a four key piano. Okay, now that the code is downloaded, we can see how it's working. We hit the buttons. It's not working right. The reason for that is my code is using numbers like 239, 8, 243. I'm assuming those are in decimal. Actually, the default is hexadecimal. To change that, I need to go into Project, Build Options, Project. And under Assembly, there it is as my default was hexadecimal. So 239 was actually 239 hex. Changing that to decimal. Recompiling. And downloading your code. Should now work. Here's the different buttons.
I know how to play a porky piano.